I'm Reese Stein at your leisure on the shores of the Great Salt Lake where an unusual and rare geologic formation has drawn lots of interest. Mysterious pure white crystal mounds have only recently emerged along the south shore of the Great Salt Lake. So we are looking at the Marabolite formations that have formed this year. They're pretty unique. Park ranger Angelique Lemon says Marabolite is a form of salt that lies below the lake surface, and below the Marabolite are springs. The groundwater will come throughout the Marabolite layer that is underneath us, and it will dissolve that layer. And as it comes to the surface, it will re-precipitate. When surface temperatures are cold enough, the Marabolite-rich spring water crystallizes. And as it flows out, it forms small terraces, much like the travertine terraces at Mammoth Hot Springs in Yellowstone. Last year was the first time ever conditions were just right to produce these four Marabolite mounds just off the south shore. This winter, the lake has receded far enough that two mounds have emerged on dry mud flats. These ideal conditions of the lake levels being so low, the outside temperatures being so sub-freezing, is the formations will actually tear us out like how they look. Marabolite is a common compound found in salty lakes all over the world. But these mounds have only been found in the Arctic, Antarctic, Central Spain, and in the U.S. only here at the Great Salt Lake. Last month, Ranger Lemon conducted tours to the mounds, but they're just a few steps from the visitor center at the north end of the Salt Air Marina and are easy to get to. Just stay back to not damage the mounds. I'm excited to see it, and I'm finding it's only one of four places in the world, so I'm very excited to see this. If it's been a while since you visited the Great Salt Lake, now is an ideal time with the water so low. No bugs, no briny odor. The lake is 75 miles long, 35 miles wide, the largest saltwater lake this side of the Dead Sea, and is several times saltier than the ocean. Just beyond the mounds, check out the skeleton of a century-old boat that ran afoul of the tricky lake. It's thought to have been used when the railroad causeway was built. All this and white salty mounds to boot. And now I can say Marabolite and know what we're talking about. Restein with Marianne at your leisure with this week's Where To Adventure at the Great Salt Lake.